We're in Appine Manufacturing. We manufacture service bodies, truck bodies for um, the contractor type industry. Um, Napi started in 1848, so it's you know, 100 and close to 160 year old company. And we've of course started from the old board drafting and transitioned into two dimensional AutoCAD. We started looking and, and making the decision that we needed to move into the 3D market a couple years back. We were currently involved with the Autodesk, Autodesk Inventor project, product and which was working in some aspects for us and some aspects it wasn't. A lot of major aspects it wasn't and which kind of drove our company to say, okay, if we're going to go through and do this growth into the 3D project, we're on our 3D software realm, we want to make a gut check and make sure what we're selecting and what we're using is the right thing. We're receiving data in from, you know, Ford, General Motors, um, Dodge, you know, Chrysler. So we're receiving all these other types of file formats in. So we had so many uh, avenues that we had to look at when choosing choosing the software. After looking at the features and what the capabilities are of the software, so SolidWorks was by far uh, number one in, in its capabilities and what, to, what it's able to do. One of the first features that we saw in SolidWorks that were made it unique and definitely stand out in the crowd was its ability to integrate with third-party partners or third-party solutions seamlessly. For the sheet metal side of things, SolidWorks was by far superior. Using SolidWorks, I can create a virtual model of the sheet metal component, fold it, unfold it, and really see if I'm going to be able to create what I really want to create, which saves a lot of time as far as letting parts go out to our shop or in our production environment. Other things we know we can do with SolidWorks that we haven't been able to do is a lot of the new drawing formats. Not only can we give a customer a 2D print or approval drawing of a product they're looking at or wanting to get into, we can also send them a 3D uh, e-drawings print or file, and they don't need to have SolidWorks. They can get right into it and use it, spin it around, look at it, pull the doors open, make markups, and send it back to us so we can shorten the design cycle. It comes with a seat of Cosmos Express bundled into it, which is great. allows us to get our hands wet and start really working with it. But also we knew we could buy the, the full-on package of Cosmos and do all the advanced analysis with it as well. The greatest time saving is this lack of errors we're going to see once things make their way down to the shop floor. So we can catch those interferences, catch those parts that are incorrect right at the get-go before we ever make any prints, before we ever make any production runs, and make sure when it does get to the shop floor that it's going to flow and run through our production lines smoothly when I have any hiccups. Once you know that what you're doing is going to be correct, usually the first time, you really kind of push the envelope every time. You know, well, I know our machine capabilities are this. I know my software capabilities are this. I'm going to take it to the edge and see where I can go with it. You know, maybe it takes me to two way, new ways of assembling components, new ways of putting things together. You know, the, the possibilities are endless at that point.